Ciao, ま、<音楽><音楽><音楽> So uh, think as, as follows, uh, place your motivation like this. Uh, think that uh, right now, uh, at this time, I've achieved an excellent human life that's endowed with all of the uh, necess necessities to practice and which is free from the uh, obstacles that would prevent practice. So at this time, uh, instead of being concerned about uh, worldly things, uh, the pleasures of this life, I should instead think that um, uh, just as I am trapped in samsara, all uh, sentient beings, limitless sentient beings, all of whom have been, who have been my mother uh, numberless times, those beings are trapped in the prison of samsara. And they suffer by means of the three types of suffering. And uh, therefore, in order to free them from that kind of situation, I must, as uh, it, quickly as possible, achieve uh, the true perfect awakening of uh, full Buddhahood. In order to do that, then, uh, I'm now going to listen to this instruction on the Mahayana Dharma. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tawatella, Yuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuyuy
Uh, yeah, I take you down. So uh, we've gotten to the point where we're discussing uh, the section on uh, the, the uh, possession or endowment that it has, that the uh, uh, Buddha nature has. And that's explained uh, initially in the verse uh, number 41, which says, uh, like the great ocean, uh, it's the uh, source uh, for inexhaustible, precious, good qualities, which are limitless. And, uh, and uh, because, it, uh, p because by nature it possesses uh, qualities which are um, uh, inseparable from it, it's like a, it's like a lamp. Uh, so we got to that part of the text. And then, uh, the fr then uh, we went over uh, how it's similar to being a, a great ocean that uh, because, uh, where, where it says that because uh, sentient beings possess this lineage, uh, because of that, then they have, uh, uh, it's like having the qualities, limitless qualities, which are the uh, qualities of the, as, of the causal qualities, uh, which are inexhaustible and limitless. And then uh, this is explained further uh, where it says that, uh, that the dharmakaya is uh, the cause of the, uh, for actualizing uh, or for purifying uh, the, 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 uh, the, the element such that it becomes the dharmakaya. That, uh, has to do, that's the um, properties of admiration for the uh, Mahayana Dharma and so forth. Uh, and that admiration for the Mahayana Dharma is uh, like the vessel. Uh, it's, so it, f it functions like, a, like the vessel. The ocean is like a vessel in that respect. And uh, it's a vessel for uh, the uh, precious qualities which are um, generated by uh, the uh, unique uh, uh, tranquil abiding and a higher insight which uh, is specific to the Mahayana. And uh, this, th because that is the, uh, a cause for the um, achievement of the gnosis of the victors of the Buddhas, then um, those, are, those are like, those are precious. Oh yeah, and then also the um, uh, you have, uh, then the last quality there is that the uh, compassion, great compassion of the Bodhisattva is like um, is like water, uh, is like moisture. Oh yeah, didn't it? Then uh, the next verse uh, uh, brings together the uh, analogy here with its uh, intention, with uh, what, its, what, what its intended sense is. And it says that, that next verse 42 says that, um, that uh, because it, it, uh, it, it, uh, it includes or, or compri is comprised of comprises the dharmakaya, uh, the uh, gnosis of the victors, and uh, the element of, uh, of compassion, then it's, uh, it's like a vessel and, uh, and, uh, the, and, uh, the, the, and, the, and the precious jewels and water. Uh, and therefore, it's similar to the great ocean. <laughs> So the, the reason it's, it's uh, this admiration for the Mahayana teaching or Dharma is like the uh, is like a it's like the the base or the root of uh, everything because if you don't have that admiration for it then there's no uh, way to get, uh, no no way to create to give rise to the uh, the uh, stabilization and uh, insight meditation which uh, of, of the Mahayana <laughs> Minewa 
So, so uh, previously we, we talked about the um, non-localized uh, nirvana or non-fixated nirvana, which is unique to the Buddha. Uh, and here this, this part of the text explains the method for ob obtaining that, that kind of nirvana which isn't fixated or localized within either existence or nirvana uh, or, or peace. Um, this, here it said that um, the, uh, that uh, special kind of uh, meditation, uh, meditative concentration of the Mahayana, which integrates uh, together the, uh, tranquil, uh, the tranquil abiding or stabilization meditation and insight, that, that factor of the path serves to stop uh, the, uh, stop the, the uh, existence part or samsaric part of, of uh, things, whereas uh, great compassion but the, uh, through uh, cultivating and meditating on great compassion, one is able to uh, stop or prevent uh, falling into the extreme of peace. So because it's not, this nirvana is, is not localized in either uh, existence or in peace, therefore, uh, it, because it uh, um, comes out of these methods, uh, the, the wisdom and method. So, so, so therefore, this uh, this element, uh, uh, the element here, is is uh, said to be analogous to uh, the great ocean, where uh, you have uh, admiration for the Mahayana is uh, comparable to the ocean, the uh, great ocean as uh, itself, and then within that, there's the uh, precious uh, jewels of the uh, the path of meditating on uh, stabilization and uh, uh, insight meditation together, uh, integrated together. Uh, those are similar to uh, the jewels, and then uh, great compassion is like the water that uh, that uh, holds it holds it all together. Oh, that is the teacher. That the way you then decide to stand up. And the castle there. Time and era, we see that. You see, time and time and time. Now we meet the mommy. And now the road to the church is ready. That is the way, buddy. Then uh, uh, we've, uh, we've gotten down into the uh, 43rd verse where it says that um, uh, within the, uh, the, the uh, basis, which is without defilement, uh, the, uh, uh, the super knowledges uh, and gnosis, uh, stainless or, or undefiled suchness exist without any differentiation. Uh, and, and therefore, they're, they're, they have properties which are similar to uh, the, uh, the illumination, the warmth, and the color of a lamp. Back to the condition of the ASNA, and the cause of Timinella, Moshe Chawas, and Timon Meba, Saba may be in the Nella. So, and the Rashi Timon Meba, Saba may be in the Nella. And Debbie <laughs> So uh, this, this is explained, uh, this verse is explained that within this, uh, this uh, stainless basis, uh, the, basis was, the, the basis that is without defilement, that is the, in the element uh, within that, uh, there's, uh, or you could call it uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the sphere, which is uh, devoid of contamination, which is without defilement and uncontaminated, the, the, uh, the abode, which is th that sphere, 
clear without contamination and without defilement. Uh, within, th within that uh, basis or sphere, uh, you can say that the, uh, all of the, good, the resultant good qualities uh, in, in terms of their nature, by means of their nature, uh, exist or are found within that. Um, and here the, uh, the good qualities are enumerated as the uh, different kinds of the five different kinds of uh, super knowledge that will be uh, such as the uh, special divine uh, vision and so forth they'll be uh, enumerated below and then also the uh, the gnosis which uh, understands the extinction of the uh, the, the defilements uh, stainless gnosis which understands the um, extinction of the defilements and then also the uh, uh, suchness itself, which is the uh, the abandonment, uh, which is without any of the defilements, uh, by means of by by the nature of those, uh, they are found uh, w without or or they exist uh, together with the element, uh, similar to the way or in, in an analogous fashion to the way that uh, a lamp uh, and its uh, illumination, its warmth and its color. Are are, uh, are together and dif are undifferentiated, undifferenti cannot be differentiated. Sabah sabah, the cancer is sabah sabah. She be she say the success gong she, success gong she is na kan de say the na chima she be bang ba ting gong sum de she be she de la success gong she is. Then uh, regarding the, the this this gnosis of the extinction of the defilements, um, this is this is also called uh, the super knowledge of the extinction of the defilements. Uh, the super knowledge, the, knowing that, um, and uh, this is uh, called it's, it's a, a special gnosis that uh, directly realizes or directly understands the uh, abandonment, which is the extinction of the defilements, the stoppage of the defilements. Well, so these uh, these uh, super knowledges are uh, achieved, uh, obtained, uh, dependent, depending upon the uh, purification of the element, and uh, th from that purification of the element, then these uh, resultant uh, uh, good qualities or uh, five special uh, super knowledges are uh, obtained. Ani, I mami na wada chesunde tetar ni. So, so these uh, these uh, special super knowledges have the uh, property of existing uh, as as the um, uh, as the uh, d as the, uh, similar to as the um, destruction of the darkness, which is. Uh, which is uh, contrary to or serves as an obstacle to experiencing uh, experiencing their objects, the, the objects, uh, and understanding and experiencing the objects of these knowledges. Ani Chosamba Tumbala Sova, you can't, you can't never de shifting. Ani Kasore, you can't do never de shiba de to do music to draw, to do music to let. The the hand to your body, Ani, you can't and can't do, Dumbata, Trotan, Chudin Saki, Dusatan, Chosamba Tumbala Sova, can't and your body, Muslim do nothing, Tresci Batella, to do music. Uh, the first of these, which is called the uh, super knowledge of, uh, of, of like miraculous ability, uh, that uh, understands, uh, that knows uh, where one's uh, teachers, where one's uh, friends, uh, where one's uh, disciples, uh, where the where the. Um, 
where where they are uh, living, where they exist, where they abide, and uh, it knows all of those things uh, with with it uh, or all of those things appear to that uh, super knowledge as direct perception. Uh, they appear to it as as perception. Wow,大金三年,他三年一定是来电来电来,他才能修完那些一千年,都是看了有把他才修完那些一千年,他就住住给,他就住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住住
Um, this is referring here to, especially to uh, direct uh, vision, such that one is able to see uh, numberless uh, uh, previous lifetimes of oneself and others. And particularly, uh, it has to do with the ability to see uh, the different kinds of uh, actions that uh, one's uh, disciples or the, the people to be trained that you that you are going to be involved in training uh, what kind of karma that they've done in the past uh, and, and what kind of actions they've created such that they are experiencing uh, and have the kind of results and experiences that they're undergoing in the present oh. He making was he taking Duja Dine Chipede, and a Tiwat in that city, eh? Let in that China, Tiwat in that city, Gigri, Dim Lad in that Massa, and a Tiwat in that city, Mijewati, Hey Miki, Mosheta, and a Tiwasheva. Say Dila. Let in that China, Tiwat in that city, Gigri. So then also, also this, uh, this, uh, the, the, um, uh, the super knowledge of the uh, d divine, uh, divine eye here also enables one to see uh, the karmic uh, r results of actions that uh, people are creating in the present. So for example, with your uh, students, your disciples, you can see that if they do this kind of action, they'll have uh, this kind of, after they die and transmigrate, Great, that they'll have this kind of uh, result, they'll experience it uh, like that, and, and each, each of the different kinds of actions that they're engaged in. So there's an example of this in the uh, sutras where it's, it's said that uh, 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 that uh, so there's, there's a, uh, an, an account of how this works in the sutras in which uh, An, uh, the Buddha's disciple Ananda uh, explained to uh, a uh, householder, uh, I, th I think his, na uh, his name was uh, Kepa. Uh, Shri uh, Jata or Pelke in Tibetan, Shri Jata, that um, he, uh, he showed uh, there was a, a kind of a, a, a monstrous creature uh, that uh, there was uh, living nearby. And uh, he showed, uh, he, he was able to explain to this householder uh, how, why that uh, being had taken that kind of life and that body such that uh, it was, had this kind of monstrous appearance. Uh, and by showing, by uh, demonstrating to the, to the uh, householder that uh, what, what the karma was that had given rise to this, he was able to generate uh, renunciation within, within the, uh, the disciple there. Ani kunga wogi ane kasa de chao ni chao ni la kandu ke ni nyawa nyawa ke ne tamba ke di ba mege wa che wa la tene ane leji de wu nyawa ke ne nyawi ne tamba la tene he mege mo shi la tene nyawi na tamba la tene ane kunga wogi chao ni ane te la tene ane ne ko wa ne ju de de taba ane taba la ko ba ta so then this uh, the, the same thing occurred where uh, Ananda uh, the uh, Ananda showed uh, two of his uh, nephews uh, who were uh, he, he showed he was able to show them uh, what would happen to them if uh, they continued to misbehave that uh, he was able to uh, display to them the uh, sort of uh, hell existence that they would be reborn into uh, as a result of the 
the non-virtue that they were in, uh, the the uh, actions that they were involved in, and by means of uh, demonstrating that to them, he was able to um, uh, free them from, uh, induce them to enter into the path and to achieve liberation. So, so then, uh, this this uh, special kind of su uh, super knowledge of this divine vision and so forth, uh, these these things are able uh, then to uh, um, able to um, by seeing these things directly yourself, um, you can uh, show them also to uh, disciples uh, with whom you have uh, special connections. So uh, because of that ability to uh, illuminate, uh, illuminate uh, situations like that, um, this, uh, these kinds of super knowledges have uh, a property which is similar to the illumination that uh, comes from a lamp. <laughs> And then the uh, gnosis, which is the uh, which understands the extinction of the defilements, uh, that's uh, comp has has a comparable property to the uh, warmth, uh, the heat of a lamp, as as we said yesterday. Sapa so then the the next uh, uh, is uh, understanding uh, understanding the uh, abandonment of the uh, which is the, which is the um, extinction of the defilements, uh, which which is uh, a result of the uh, transformation of the basis. Uh, this this kind of abandonment uh, is is uh, said to be uh, have have a pro have properties which are uh, comparable to the uh, color of a lamp, or the the the, the color of the lamp. And here, uh, where it says uh, defilements, uh, the term actually means something like. Uh, uh, th something that flows down, uh, that flows out and flows down, and uh, it's it's understood that defilements, these uh, disturbing emotions or mental afflictions and such, they they uh, they cause one to uh, to spill down into uh, lower states of existence and to be, be to to uh, f flow down and be trapped in samsara. <laughs> Tell this, uh, mm -hmm. where this uh, this uh, abandonment is said to be is said to be without any defilement, uh, it's 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 uh, also uh, designated as being uh, without any um, uh, or without any. I'm sorry, it's it's designated as being uh, the abandonment of any contaminants uh, contamination. Uh, it's also said to be without any defilement. Uh, where it says without defilement, this, this is referring to uh, the fact that it has, has abandoned uh, all of the obscuration, the obscurations related to the um, mental afflictions, which hold to the uh, person and the aggregates as being real. 
uh, because it's uh, because it's uh, completely gotten rid of uh, all of those uh, those uh, contaminants or those uh, defilements. Uh, therefore, it's it's a complete abandonment and it's uh, it's pure. That number Tabani Segala, any new mobi pacha, any new mobi pacha, they're not true, any cha Segala, Shiji Dubatella, you won't be Dubat, Shiji Dubani Segala, that Shiji Tamji Shiwala, Padu Chiji. Tabasosun 嗯, so uh, then the next uh, description of this is that it's uh, purified uh, it's it's uh, completely purified and uh, this this ref this has uh, kind of two parts to it one is that it's uh, it's gotten rid of uh, it's purified of the uh, imprints of the disturbing emotions uh, t together with uh, the the portion uh, of uh, which is uh, which pertains to the um, delusive appearance of things as being real uh, here uh, there's there's this is referring the, the purification here refers to the uh, elimination of the uh, obscurations which prevent the uh, complete knowledge of of everything of all objects of knowledge uh, prevent omniscience so uh, within um, within these uh, obscurations that prevent omniscience, these are the things to be gotten rid of by bodhisattvas who are on the eighth, ninth, and tenth uh, stages of the bodhisattva path. Uh, those kinds of obscurations have sort of two parts to them. One which is the, uh, the actual imprints of the, uh, the activity of the uh, mental afflictions. And then uh, the other part of it is called uh, the portion, which is uh, a delusive appearance of things as being real. You <laughs> Then so uh, th this portion which uh, has to do with the uh, the delusive appearance of things as being real or uh, the dual uh, dual appearance um, this has to do with uh, how that um, the uh, grasping at things as being real uh, the pre previous grasping at things as being real has deposited a sort of seed or uh, a potential within uh, within our minds such such that uh, even uh, all, all of the um, active uh, awarenesses that are operating within us are, uh, are uh, um, infused with, with this kind of portion of these uh, obscurations that prevent omniscience. So that when uh, even uh, sense perception, uh, where you have uh, we have six active uh, consciousness or awarenesses, the uh, mental awareness as well as the five sense awarenesses. Those uh, are uh, are um, because of the existence of this uh, seed of uh, this delusive appearance of things as being real. Uh, th that because of that is exists within uh, those active uh, consciousnesses as well. Oh yeah. This has been the issue. That tender you, Marie B. Pacha Tiggy, Sab Tera Marie B. Pacha say, 
Tambudi so, so then uh, the um, manifest form of these, uh, these um, uh, the, the manifest or uh, form of these uh, uh, um, uh, obscurations that prevent omniscience are uh, the result of the, uh, the consciousness having been uh, having these seeds of the uh, of ignorance uh, existing within it, or, or that the, the consciousness has been uh, uh, contaminated or affected by the existence of these seeds, uh, such that uh, the, the different uh, when the when the uh, sense consciousnesses and the mental consciousness are active, um, therefore uh, there appears uh, uh, things appear to us as if they are, are real. Um, th this, this is understood as being a kind of uh, a very deeply ingrained uh, source of error, th this uh, appearance of things as being real. Uh, it's simil uh, similar to how uh, we have, like if we have some kind of eye disease, uh, cataracts or something, uh, where uh, the eye is uh, temporarily affected by some kind of uh, covering or, or something in, 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 in that, uh, that makes things look in, in a way that they don't actually uh, exist. Uh, that kind of uh, vision or appearance of things uh, is the result of that uh, temporary uh, that temporary source of uh, erroneous appearance. Well, this, these uh, obscurations which, which uh, prevent omniscience uh, function in a more deeply ingrained fashion uh, to, to cause things to appear to be real uh, in a way that they're not. So, so there's two, two parts then to the uh, obscurations that prevent omniscience. The uh, seeds uh, which, uh, uh, which, which are the, like the potentials uh, or imprints, and then uh, the actual manifest forms of these things where they're, uh, where, where they're actually appearing uh, in, before us. And so, so these, uh, these, these uh, imprints of ignorance are uh, explained as being uh, obscurations that prevent omniscience uh, because they uh, prevent us from being able to see things as they are and things in their diversity uh, simultaneously. Uh, we, we, we're not able, uh, and even bodhisattvas uh, are not able to see uh, simultaneously the, uh, the basic reality of things as well as things in their diversity and plurality. Sejong 
So, then, so therefore, then uh, these obscurations that prevent omniscience are uh, comprised of both sort of the the uh, imprints of ignorance, uh, which which function as potentials and such, and then uh, also the actual appearance of things as being real, the delusive appearance of things as being real, uh, that those manifest forms, uh, those together. Together, uh, comprise the uh, obscurations that prevent on this that, uh, uh, that prevent omniscience they they're called obscurations uh, because they uh, block us or stop us from being able to see things uh, as they are so then the example that's uh, given f for uh, how these uh, relate to uh, other forms of, uh, of uh, obscurations is that uh, until you've gotten rid of uh, defilements, uh, dirt, uh, gross forms of dirt off of a, a piece of cloth, uh, there's no way to remove the uh, subtle, uh, the subtle forms of defilement or stains and such, in, that are uh, deeper embedded in, in the cloth. So, uh, because of the, the way this uh, works, uh, until you've gotten rid of all of the, um, uh, the mental afflictions, which are the ignorance in particular, which is grasping at things as being real, the active grasping at things as being real, uh, until that is completely eliminated, there's no way to uh, remove uh, any of these uh, these subtler forms, uh, the imprints and the dualistic appearance and such, which are included within the uh, obscurations that prevent omniscience. So because of that uh, relationship uh, between them, uh, it's explained that uh, first you have to get rid of entirely uh, the, the uh, active, the grasping at things as being real, and that's done on the uh, lower level Levels of the bodhisattva path, uh, and then uh, only once you've got completely eliminated those, uh, when you enter into the uh, upper stages of the bodhisattva path, the, the three pure levels of the bodhisattva path, eighth, ninth, tenth stage, um, only then can you begin to get rid of the uh, the uh, obscurations that prevent omniscience. Oh yeah, chat. So then the, the commentary here explains that it's, uh, it's purified, uh, purified because um, it's, it's uh, gotten rid of, uh, all, entirely gotten rid of uh, the, uh, the imprints of ignorance. Uh, together with the portion, uh, which is the portion which is the uh, the the, the uh, delusive uh, appearance of things as being real. Oh yeah, that is it. Let's same generation number two. That you saw us at the end of the day. You bet you got a new one, new one, new one, new one. Same generation like you buy my own. Quran 
so then uh, the next uh, quality here of the mind's uh, n- n- natural uh, purity is that uh, it is luminous uh, or clear light. Um, this refers to, uh, it, it, it is so because uh, the two kinds of obscurations are uh, adventitious. Uh, which means that they they don't enter in to the actual nature of the mind. Uh, these these two obscurations are not of the actual nature of the mind. They don't uh, they, they haven't they're they're not they haven't entered into the nature of the mind. Rather, they're uh, they're adventitious. If they if they had actually entered into the nature of the mind, then there'd be no way to uh, repair the mind or to to remove these obscurations uh, from it. Oh yeah. That didn't so then uh, it explains here that uh, the way the way these have been enumerated above where you have these five uh, super knowledges uh, you have the gnosis which is uh, understands the non-existence of the uh, the defilement of, of the um, uh, the contaminants uh, and 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 also the uh, complete abandonment which has been uh, described above uh, these uh, re- these are referred to as the uh, seven qualities existing within the continuum of a person who uh, uh, on, who who is no longer training on the path um, these uh, because it's said to be uh, no further training uh, that specifies the uh, the nature of the these particular uh, forms of these uh, super knowledges and so forth, because the super knowledges and s- as such are not uh, unique or uh, specific to someone who's achieved the path of no further training. Rather, even ordinary people are able to uh, develop these uh, f- the five super knowledges, but they don't. Uh, ordinary people don't have this kind of a, a complete extinction of all of the the uh, contaminants and such. So we have to be, uh, we have to specify that these uh, these uh, super knowledges that are uh, mentioned here are the the super knowledges as they exist within the continuum of somebody who's achieved this path of no more training, uh, because uh, they're they're different from the kinds of super knowledge that are attained by ordinary people or people that are even uh, lower on the path, even if they've entered into the path and developed these kinds of things uh, they, they, they're not the same as the ones that you have here uh, and then the uh, knowledge of the extinction of the uh, contaminants and uh, the, these the total abandonment of all of these uh, the defile of the uh, total extinction and defilement of the uh, of the of the defilements uh, that's uh, these are also unique to those who have achieved the path of no more learning oh Timatata 
so, so here, here, then it says also that with regarding these, uh, these uh, which are uh, within uh, suchness, which is isolated from all of the uh, all of the defilements, uh, in uh, uh, within a, a, a medita uh, perpetual meditative absorption within the sphere which is without any contamination uh, within that kind of sphere uh, by by uh, by means of their nature uh, by by, uh, by uh, from the point of view of their nature uh, they they are indis they're in inseparable or uh, you cannot be differentiated in terms of their nature uh, from each other <laughs> So, so here it's it's uh, this subject that we're talking about here is this possession of uh, these these things and uh, the basic topic here and it, because uh, these things are naturally pure uh, they're uh, in in their their nature they're they're pure of the uh, defilements. Uh, so in their nature they're naturally pure uh, and uh, because of, from that point of view then you would say that they're, uh, they're they cannot be separated from each other uh, within this sphere uh, this stainless or uh, sphere which is without con uh, any defilement or contamination so then uh, again it's 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 explained uh, here also in a sutra that uh, that in this sutra that uh, this is referring these uh, possess possession of these qualities pertains to uh, the time of actualizing the uh, ultimate result uh, and and that in, in that kind of state uh, a person possesses these uh, seven special uh, knowledges and so forth uh, but it's not talking about uh, these existing within the, the continuum of an ordinary person. Oh yeah, that dig it. They can't buy this. Do you say that? Sumba, no, do, le, no, do, le, damba. Are we? No, do, le, no, do, do, le, le, no, do, le. That that should be the way to do so we've so so uh, so, so uh, we we've gone through uh, 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 we've gone through then the, the uh, possession uh, topic of those uh, ten topics that were listed up in verse 29 uh, as far as the nature cause effect uh, action or function uh, and, and then uh, the uh, possession or endowment uh, and now we, we, we've entered into the the topic of uh, uh, what is uh, 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 I think I'm translating as appearance ngoda Sigala, 
so then uh, this, this uh, subject is, is the fourth actually in one of the major uh, subdivisions of the text and it's explained under different categories of uh, the subdivisions of activity here uh, or I'm sorry appearance here uh, there's the actual subject and the, uh, por the parts of that and uh, so this, this gets us down to the verse which is uh, in verse 44 where it says uh, um, uh, that this, uh, this uh, essence of the victor is taught, uh, taught to sentient beings by the one who knows reality by means of uh, differentiating, uh, differentiating uh, ordinary individuals, uh, arias, uh, and, uh, or I'm sorry, by, by differentiating the, the appearance of, uh, of, it, of the uh, element within uh, the suchness of ordinary individuals, aryas, and uh, perfect Buddhas. Uh, so the, 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 one who sees, uh, the one who sees reality uh, teaches that to sentient beings uh, as, as the, uh, the essence of the victor. So, so uh, here uh, suchness is, is differentiated in terms of uh, what, what sort of uh, basis within which, what, what kind of base does it exist within? Uh, and then uh, in, terms of, uh, from the, in, in terms of time, uh, how it appears uh, within these bases uh, in terms of uh, the three different time periods and then the, the different sort of uh, subdivisions of its appearance. <laughs> So as far as uh, the base within which uh, suchness exists or uh, is found uh, exists, uh, the first of these is ordinary individuals. Here, uh, ordinary individual is defined uh, according to the uh, Abhidharma Kosha, the uh, treasury of Abhidharma, as uh, a, an ordinary person is one who has not, um, who has not uh, seen the truth, who has not seen reality. So, uh, so uh, then uh, is, uh, there's the ordinary individuals, there's uh, other aryas, other aryas here refers to aryas uh, other than Buddhas, uh, those, the, the, uh, the uh, aryas of the, uh, the, 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 who are on the level of the path, who have uh, seen reality but are still on the path. And then uh, the third category is the uh, is, uh, perfect Buddhas. Uh, those three types of uh, persons are the basis here. And uh, the existence of the um, uh, of suchness within those uh, three bases is is called the appearance within the base, or the appearance uh, within the base. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
so, so in terms of the appearance as it's as it's uh, distinguished or differentiated uh, the appearance of, of, of suchness uh, this is referring to uh, the way that uh, the element which is uh, the essence of the Tathagata how that exists uh, is, uh, exists within uh, sentient beings uh, ordinary sentient beings uh, how it exists uh, within beings when they're on the level of the path when they've uh, achieved uh, the, the uh, path of seeing and so forth and then uh, how it exists within the the, uh, within individuals who have achieved uh, perfect Buddhahood, uh, there uh, you wouldn't, you, you don't call it uh, tathagata, the element or tathagata garba anymore. Rather, it is, uh, it is uh, nature, uh, nature rather than tathagata garba. But uh, this suchness, in any case, is found in these uh, three types of individuals, and in, in three, uh, and is distinguished, differentiated in that way. So, um, within uh, ordinary individuals, um, then the uh, suchness is uh, not purified at all of the uh, defilements. Whereas within the uh, Aryas, those who have achieved the path of seeing and so forth, uh, the suchness is purified of some portion of the uh, of the defilements. But and then within the uh, the uh, level of a perfect Buddha, then all of the uh, defilements have been completely uh, uh, all of this uh, all of the obstructions have been completely uh, eliminated. All of the obscurations have been completely eliminated. So so uh, by means of uh, differentiating the, those three kinds of uh, states within which uh, one finds uh, suchness, then uh, we differentiate its appearance, uh, the way it's, uh, it's differentiated in its appearance in that way. And, uh, and, and then the verse then says that the one who sees reality, uh, who sees reality as it is, teaches this suchness uh, uh, which, to, to sentient beings as uh, the essence of the victors, which is together with uh, defilement. In the same day, and the Sanjay, Sanjay, you come out to work, and she knew what do what they had a day, and the same day, you see, some ranching in number taba, come to watch ranching in number taba, and delays. Well, therefore, um, when uh, we, uh, um, so, no. so this, this base uh, as, as a base for uh, sentient beings attainment of Buddhahood uh, it, it's, it's comprised within this essence um, and this is the this is the uh, Purity, natural purity of sentient beings' minds. In the tenderly come to receive with Nimbo, my summer ranching in number Taba, Tela, Kala, Min and Gombe, and the Sanjay Chenam Giver Gibi, Givi, and each Chuji Juni, and this come to receive with Nimbo the day. Therefore, um, by, by, uh, by observing this, uh, this uh, element, which is the essence of the Tathagata, and uh, through, uh, from meditating upon it, then uh, this, this itself, this, uh, this is the uh, source for the arising of uh, all of the uh, properties or qualities, uh, the, element, the, the properties of a Buddha. And, uh so 
So uh, therefore also uh, this uh, suchness which is together with uh, the defilements uh, be because it's, uh, it's, it's, it, it uh, comprises the essence of the method for achie achieving uh, tr true perfect Buddhahood, uh, the, the status of a, a conqueror, uh, therefore it's, it's designated by this term, uh, the essence of the victor. <laughs> Tishi so the next verse uh, explains the, uh, the, the uh, components of this and uh, this is ex explained in uh, the 45th verse uh, that it says ordinary beings uh, are mistaken or uh, whereas uh, and they're, the, they're contrary to those who see the truth. Uh, the Tathagata uh, is, uh, is as it is uh, without any error and without any uh, conceptual elaboration. Uh, that's just the verse. Um, then uh, to explain that it says that the uh, suchness which exists within the continuum of ordinary individuals, ordinary beings, has not been uh, got has not had any of even even uh, any bit of the seeds of the obscurations removed from it. Uh, have, have none of the obscurations or even the seeds of the obscurations have uh, been abandoned. And uh, because it is together with the seeds of the uh, defilements, it's uh, to, it's it's said to be together with uh, error. It's it's together with error. So the Jew will Nambatoma Oh. Oh, so in the, and then the next line says that the uh, those who uh, see the truth are the are the, the reverse of that or contrary uh, the reversal of that error that exists within ordinary beings uh, and and this is explaining that uh, those who have uh, be, within the continuum of people of persons who have uh, directly seen uh, reality uh, but are are not yet uh, complete Buddhas. Uh, the suchness within within them is uh, the reverse of that. That is, it's uh, some uh, some portion of the. Although all of the stains have not been, uh, all of the defilements have not been uh, e extinguished, uh, removed completely. Uh, nevertheless, some portion of the stain of the seeds of the uh, defilements have been gotten rid of, and therefore, uh, therefore, they're designated as not. In error, the these be, persons who see the truth are not in error. Oh, あの状況を取っていたまま、特産品店の場合で、店の場合で、カソレ。店、その人間がそう死ねよ、どんにでもいいし、死ね。死ねよは。あの特産品店の場合で、カビンバチ。でね、あの当時でもいいし、ラクラ
Oh, what's that? So uh, the, the, how this works then uh, in terms of the lower levels of the path is that uh, on the path of accumulation uh, one uh, develops through studying or hearing the teachings on uh, the profound emptiness uh, develops the understanding wisdom that arises from that kind of uh, hearing and studying and then uh, on top of that one investigates it uh, and through thinking about it and determines it uh, through thinking and therefore achieves a kind of knowledge or, or wisdom which arises out of uh, contemplation of the profound emptiness and uh, then at the end of that uh, path of accumulation uh, one uh, towards the end of it one develops uh, the ability to uh, bring together meditative stabilization and uh, insight meditation which are uh, focused upon which take a, which takes as its object uh, this profound emptiness and uh, develops uh, on, at that stage then uh, some uh, wisdom arising from meditative uh, meditative uh, contemplation of the uh, of this this subject emptiness I, I misspoke in that translation. Uh, sorry. Uh, the, you, when you uh, bring together uh, the, uh, with the um, uh, meditative stabilization and insight meditation, taking emptiness as your uh, object or focal point, then uh, that is the beginning of the path of preparation. And then the, the path of preparation has uh, four, uh, diff four different phases that one goes through. Uh, ตาจอลมกเนกาซอเนจิชัดตุนสิวาเรชัดตุนบาเนชิชัดตุนบาเนชัดตุนบาซึกกว่าเดกะเรเรซนาทันดาเงลชัวนาชินจานิจอลมท
so, so uh, as one goes through the different phases of the uh, path of preparation, uh, one starts off by uh, gaining this kind of uh, under understanding which is similar to the, uh, the definitive ascertainment that one gets uh, on the path of seeing, but uh, it's not, there, not that yet. Uh, so that one, uh, as one goes through the, fa through the uh, stages of the path of preparation, the, uh, your uh, vision uh, of, of emptiness, uh, the, the kind of uh, perception and vision that you have of it becomes uh, clearer and clearer, uh, gradually clearer and clearer, and uh, the appearance of things as being real uh, also gradually diminishes so that it becomes uh, s sort of subtler or uh, lighter and lighter. And then uh, as one uh, gets, when one reaches the uh, culmination of the path of preparation, uh, th there's a point at which uh, the uh, actual the appearance of emptiness uh, in the, in the object of medit as an object of meditation, w within that uh, meditative uh, ab uh, absorption, the uh, dual appearance or the appearance of things as real uh, disappears and uh, completely uh, is, is completely disappears, such that one has now uh, this uh, direct perception of, of emptiness. Oh yeah, but then the mongoose of the tongue say that I need you not to draw a time to talk, then I'm going to draw a time to talk, and you don't need a mongoose of the tongue, she did mongoose of the tongue, I said you go at it, she did and that did not, the mongoose of the tongue said that, then by that, then I'm the mongoose of the tongue, I said that, don't you mongoose of the tongue, you see, you know, you draw a time to talk. So, the, this, so this, uh, th when you then have that uh, vision experience in the path of seeing, uh, where uh, you see the truth or see reality, uh, it's it's saying what is being said here is that uh, the dualistic appearance of things as being real has uh, disappeared, as as uh, d dissipated, and uh, and therefore there are no uh, conceptual elaborations of things as being real. Uh, this, this kind of understanding then is also called uh, seeing ultimate truth. Uh, it is, it is just another name for it. Oh. <laughs> Okay. So here, uh, in generally, uh, in, in, in a general presentation of the path, um, it's said that on the path of seeing, one sees the truth or sees reality. Um, in, in some ways of talking about it, you can talk about uh, the, seeing a vision of the Four Noble Truths, direct, direct, direct vision of the Four Noble Truths. But uh, what, the way we're, what we're explaining here is not that. Rather, it's this uh, direct uh, vision of the uh, ultimate truth. <laughs> So, so uh, you can, if you if you do want to uh, talk about this in terms of the four four truths, then you would have to say that uh, this direct uh, vision of of truth or reality is uh, would be uh, the, the direct vision of the uh, truth of cessation. Uh, you wouldn't you you wouldn't uh, include within this kind of vision uh, the seeing uh, the truth of suffering, the truth of the uh, the truth or reality of the origination of suffering or the truth of the path because in this uh, kind of vision there's no uh, dual appearance uh, the, the dualistic appearance has have completely dissolved and uh, th there's no kind of conceptual elaborations whereas when one is uh, seeing the other f truths uh, the other three truths they have to get they're, 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 they're seen together with uh, some kind of uh, elaboration oh yeah 
Ta demongosum to tomi kasa kuti ki tishi ni telen do ba de ani chima se bar ma ban xin chimi sa ben chi ri ba pa ba chi ji ma lo ba se sha ye ge yang tishi ni de demongosum to toma tam je la sha me ade jo a demong kuna a ya ro demongosum to tomi kasa ki ji ji tishi ni se wa tishi ni te Telen dobas, chijilo telen doba. Ani chima sebar ma bangjang, chima chiri ba bang ba yinjang, ani chiji ma lo ba re sla guru wa. La soma, wo ten ra yu ti shi ni di, demo ngo sum to tong yu kasa, kanga la sha ame a re. Wa. Ani chima chiri ba bang ba la, chima chiri ba je bang ba la, chima chiri ba bong je ki nyem bo. ตําบงงูซุมตะทอเวลําเดเงลโดกวาเดรวะงาจุคะเซนะเกจิจวานะเชเจเนปาเจเมลําตังนําโดลําเจเนชิมะกิชิมะจอมเจกิงูจิงเ
Uh, here, this is saying that the Tathagata uh, is, is one who uh, sees uh, the continuum of, of, of a person who has this kind of ultimate vision of things as they are. Uh, things just as they are, uh, so that the then the uh, suchness within the continuum of such a person, such a tathagata, uh, is without any kind of is without any kind of error, and uh, has no um, elaboration. Uh, this, this is referring then to there there being uh, no uh, res residue of any kind of dualistic appearance uh, or any kind of conceptual elaboration. Oh,呀,天做,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,长久,
Awesome. Awesome. Oh, so uh, then, uh, if we if we think of the way other uh, the other systems of Buddhist uh, Buddhism present the three vehicles of the uh, the, the vehicle of the Shravakas, Pratyeka Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas, they would say that um, they're they're very very different in that in terms of the uh, things that they get rid of uh, upon the path, the things to be abandoned, uh, the things that they meditate are different. Uh, and the, thi the, uh, the things that they achieve, the objectives that they uh, accomplish, are, are quite different. So, so uh, on the other hand, in this system that we're presenting here, uh, we would say that uh, the thing that the thing that's to be meditated upon is the same, uh, and the thing that is to be gotten rid of is the same. Uh, where, although we would agree that the uh, thing to be obtained is is different in in certain respects, uh, the reason here for this difference is that within uh, the other system, uh, let's take the uh, Swatantrika mind. Yamika, for example, within that system, the uh, grasping at things as being real is uh, categorized as a obscuration that prevents omniscience. So, so in, in that system, then they would say that the uh, that, that because the obscurations that prevent omniscience are understood as this grasping at things as being real. Uh, therefore, uh, the uh, bodhisattva path is is distinct, uh, different in that uh, the thing to be uh, meditated upon is uh, emptiness. Uh, the thing to be gotten rid of, the principal thing to be gotten rid of is the obscurations that prevent uh, omniscience, uh, and the thing to be obtained is, uh, is, is uh, complete omniscience. Uh, so the, they would say the bodhisattva path is distinguished by, by those features. <laughs> Right, so they call it so uh, then uh, it, it, we're talking in terms of the um, uh, the uh, Swatantrika Madhyamika, which is uh, which is of the uh, the uh, Yogacara branch of the Swatantrika Madhyamika, in that uh, system of presenting the uh, three vehicles, then they would say that the Bodhisattvas are as we just mentioned, and that the uh, Pratyeka Buddhas are distinguished uh, in terms of uh, the kind of uh, object that they uh, meditate upon, and the uh, thing that they they get rid of through this uh, meditative practice by uh, they take as the, the principal uh, thing to be gotten rid of is grasping at uh, subject and object as being uh, uh, separate substances that uh, grasping at external objects 
as if they were uh, ex uh, distinct sub substances from the awareness that's uh, cognizing them. So uh, they would and and they would characterize this kind of grasping at uh, subject and object as in dual in this fashion, as being the uh, coarse kinds of obscurations to omniscience. Oh yeah, that theory. Nandukasa well, so, and so then uh, in this system too, they would say that for the uh, Shravaka vehicle practitioners, that uh, their, um, the thing that they meditate upon is uh, the selflessness, which is the, uh, the uh, person lacking any kind of, uh, lacking being a self-sufficient uh, substance, uh, existing as a self-sufficient substance. And then the, the thing that they get rid of is the, uh, the, obscur the obscurations that uh, are pertain to the mental afflictions. And then uh, what they achieve is, is a kind of, it is liberation, uh, freedom from uh, samsara. Tibarang so then, uh, therefore, in this system, they, uh, the one that we're describing here, the, uh, the Swatantrika, Yogacara Swatantrika Madhyamika system, uh, they would say that uh, you, you have ordinary persons that are in uh, kind of in a state of error, and then out of those, uh, out of that state of error, uh, one can go into kind of three different directions if one enters into the path. Uh, one would either follow the Shravaka path or the Pratyeka Buddha path or the Bodhisattva path. And then uh, when once, once one gets to the path of seeing and sees the truth, uh, there would be uh, differences in the kind of uh, seeing and realization that one uh, has on that, in that state uh, in, in terms of uh, in terms of both the object that is being meditated meditated upon, uh, as well as the uh, uh, the kind of uh, th things that are gotten rid of, and then likewise in terms of the, uh, the that which is obtained as a result of this kind of uh, this path. But in this system that we're following here, the prasangika system, uh, it's not like that uh, as far as the uh, thing to be meditated upon and uh, the things to be gotten rid of uh, up to the, through the path of seeing, uh, they're, they're the same thing. That is, uh, uh, seeing things as real, uh, grasping at things as being real is the thing to be uh, gotten rid of and uh, the um, uh, um, uh, understanding of I emptiness, the that things don't exist that way is the thing to be me meditated upon. Oh yeah, that does it. And we'll stop there. Saji jeje jeje medo dare oleje Madhi sanje shindu mede buaye doge na Jeba jo yidam guru rana men Kaniya daya 